Hi, this is ETF.com, Exchange Traded Friday's podcast, a weekly podcast covering developments in the ETF industry. My name is Sumit Roy, and I'm Senior Analyst for ETF.com. This week, we're talking with John Champaglia, Chief Executive Officer at Sprott Asset Management. John, great to have you on the show. Thank you for having me back. Absolutely. So, John, I want to start off by talking about uranium because this has been arguably the hottest commodity of the past year, past few years, aside from maybe cocoa. Um, but most people don't know much about uranium other than it has something to do with nuclear power. Can you enlighten us? What is uranium and why has its price gone up so much? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, uranium, I think, is is captured um, a lot of interest. Um, a lot of in investors around the globe, every everyone from individual investors right up to very sophisticated institutions have been reaching out and, and trying to learn about uranium. And, and quite frankly, uh, for, for the period from about 2011 to 2020, there was really very little interest or reason to um, to, to really be interested in, in, in uranium because it was in a, a, a very long protracted bear market. Uh, as a result of the price collapsing as the world was kind of shifting away from nuclear energy. But something's happened in the last three years, and, and that's really a, a fundamental shift that is really being driven by three things. One, uh, nuclear power produces uh, zero greenhouse gases. And so governments around the world that are committed to different net zero targets and different decarbonization targets are openly admitting that if they phase out their nuclear energy capacity, they have no chance of hitting net zero. So that's kind of thing one. It uh, it really achieves uh, helps achieve the decarbonization targets. The the second thing uh, that we learned painfully two years ago was uh, what happens when you have an energy crisis or energy shock. And obviously, 2022 was very challenging for Europe and Asia when it came to energy prices because the price of oil, natural gas, coal, etc all went parabolic on the back of the invasion of Ukraine. And it was a real wake up call. And we really think this can be best described as an energy shock like we experienced in the mid 1970s when OPEC squeezed the oil price. And it really prompted a very uh, material change in energy policy in, um, uh, across the West. And that's when a lot of the nuclear energy capacity was built. The 1970s and 80s is when it went, was when many of these power stations were built. So governments around the world, because of the energy density of, of, of uranium and because of the security of, of supply that 